All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to get started developing with augmented reality. Okay, so I've had a lot of messages lately on Instagram and Twitter asking how to get started developing for AR. Now, I don't really have a good answer to that, to be honest with you, and it's mainly because everything is changing so quickly. I wish I had a good book or something to point you in the right direction with practical applications, but the problem is, as soon as it would get into your hands or as soon as it gets published, it's gonna be outdated. So the best advice I can really give at this point is to just start building stuff and keep building stuff, and eventually you'll start to see commonalities in everything that you're doing, and it'll become a lot easier. So today, all I can really do is tell you what I use personally and hopefully point you guys in the right direction. Personally, I do everything in Unity, which is a video game engine. Why? Well, because it acts as a cross compiler. So you can make one app using C Sharp and compile it for use on Android and iOS. So not only can you use it for mobile AR apps, but Project North Star has a Unity SDK, Magic Leap has a Unity SDK, and Real has a Unity SDK, the list goes on. The great thing about learning Unity is that there are tons of resources available. It's a huge piece of software, but I can assure you there's tutorials available for everything. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to do any of this AR stuff from scratch, but that's why there's plugins. There's a plethora of AR plugins available for use in Unity that allow you to make AR experiences quickly and easily. I think in a basic sense, there are three main ways to create AR content facial filters, surface tracking, and image tracking. Now, there are a bunch of other things you can do, but I think these are the three most common. Now, what we're not gonna talk about today is facial recognition and tracking. There are ways to do this in Unity, but I sort of feel like it makes more sense to use something like Spark AR Studio, because you can make filters for Instagram and Facebook, where tons of people are already using and sharing facial filters. So my friend Alex does some really cool stuff with it, so check him out if you wanna see more of what can be done. I think a lot of this stuff can be done without any coding, so it could be a good starting point if you just wanna get your feet wet. A lot of people seemed to get into augmented reality once AR Core and AR Kit were released, and for good reason. So AR Kit is an AR platform for iOS, and AR Core is an AR platform for Android. Both of these do surface detection and tracking extremely well. What this means in a basic sense is you can place content on a horizontal or vertical surface, like the floor or a wall, and it will stay there as you move around it. So they use a combination of computer vision and inertial sensors on the device to keep track of its position and anchor content in the real world. So Unity has an in-house package called AR Foundation, which acts as an interface between ARKit and AR Core. So you can make one app in C Sharp that will work on Android and iOS. Sick. But what if your device doesn't support ARKit or AR Core? Personally, I would tell you to kick rocks, but there is another option. If some other force outside of your control is forcing you to make an app that works on more devices, you could try Vuforia's ground plane detection in Unity. This will use ARKit and AR Core when available, but it does have something called Vuforia Fusion, which has a larger list of supported devices. This feature of Vuforia is free to use, but use it with caution. So I've seen it not enable AR Core on devices that clearly do support AR Core, so I would just only use it if you absolutely have to. So without going on like a whole crazy tangent, I will just say this. The whole allure of augmented reality is that it creates this magical-like experience, and if you try to force it on devices where it doesn't work that well, that magical experience is gone, and at that rate, you might as well just make a 2D platformer. So in summary, for placing things on the ground, use AR Foundation. If someone has you making an AR app at gunpoint, use Vuforia. Now this is a tough one because there's tons of different plugins for doing image tracking in Unity. Now I'm not gonna show you side-by-side -side comparisons, pitting each one against each other, but I can tell you with confidence that I've tried every single SDK out there, and you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Now, as much as it pains me to say this, Vuforia has the absolute best image tracking, hands down. But their price is whack, and it's way too expensive for indie devs. At first glance, their basic package is $42 a month. But when you go to buy a license, the app you're making can't be used with a toy, and it can't be used for a subscription basis. I've personally worked on projects where Vuforia wanted to charge over $30,000 a year to use their image tracking. The next best tracking I've encountered is Wikitude. Their pricing is very straightforward, they have almost all the exact same features that Vuforia has, and their customer service is amazing. So if you need really good image tracking with great support, go with Wikitude. Talk to Paula, she's an absolute angel sent from heaven. Now, if you're poor like me, you need a good free solution. Enter Easy AR. 
I've tried this in the past and I could never get it working well, but they recently came out with a new version and it works amazingly well. I've just used it for an app and I can confirm it was super easy to use and it worked perfectly in Unity version 2019.1. I think I'll do a full video on it soon because it's really been a game changer for me. It even has more full features in their pro version that you can buy for $500 and it has a bunch of extra features. But Matt, I hear you ask, what about ARKit and ARCore? Don't they do image tracking as well? Well, if you've ever tried either of those, you would know that they do not work well for tracking moving images. Yes, they both offer a free way to detect an image, which could work for syncing multiplayer experiences or initializing an experience at a particular location, but not for tracking an image with a mostly stationary device, at least as of right now. Another SDK that can be used for free uh, with image tracking was AR Toolkit, but it's not been updated in a while, and it will cause you a ton of headaches trying to run it in newer versions of Unity. So in summary, Wikitude for a full featured SDK with great support, Easy AR if you want a free option that is also really good, and Vuforia if you're a millionaire. Okay, so that's it, that's all I got for today. Hopefully this video will point some people in the right direction. So all the SDKs I've talked about in this video have a ton of information freely available online. So just use this video as a guide and get your Google on. So let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see in the next video. And with that, I'm gonna go play with Easy AR, so we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.